Hey everybody. Um, here's Mario again. Wee 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 wee. Let's play Super Mario Galaxy, of course. Okay. So last time we uh I think we clear out the terrace for now. And I didn't want to point out that this little Luma guy <clears throat> Luma guy is uh turned into a small guy without his little lollipop things. But if you ever did want to go back to a sweet, sweet galaxy, you can just you know, talk to him and say yes, and he'll go there. and Or he'll explode again, and then you can go there. So, yay! And now we're going to go over to this place. And I forgot what this was. The fountain. And you go in this little thing, and Mario goes... And there you are. I need a drink of water. Oh, sorry about that. Voice is a little crackly for some reason. Oh. So we have this one we can go to, Space Junk. And the Rolling Green Galaxy. I'm actually going to do Space Junk for now, because this one tends to be pretty quick. And I kind of want to do a longer video. So let's go to Space Junk. Space junk. Yeah, I could probably wrap that in an innuendo. Yeah, I'll let you guys do that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> space junk pool star. Okay. There's two right there. Anyway, <laughs> I guess we'll, let's get on with this one. And I like this galaxy because it's pretty much like an asteroid belt. And, and asteroid belts are cool. <laughs> it kind of has that Star Fox appeal to it. Um... Obviously, you're not going to fly on the whole thing, or it wouldn't make, it, um, make this a Mario game at all. Um, it basically tells you a little bit of how to do the full stars right there. And, yes. Yes, I did it! The long jump! Long jump! <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm probably going to do that at least one more time. I'm going to do it on this pill-shaped planet. That'll be cool. Now, as you've probably seen, there was a pool star that got you here. But if you do the funky long jump that I did, somehow you end up here. Ooh, long jump! <laughs> we almost hit orbit. Now, I think the physics are just a little tad off. Because once you hit that, uh, you know, that orbital spot you should continue to orbit something, orbit a planet. Um, anyway, pool stars. Basically, you just point at them and push the A button. If you hold the A button, the pool star will pull Mario. So, I see if you continue to hold the A button, you'll continuously be pulled there. But as soon as you let go, Mario kind of floats around free fall type of thing. And it's good to know because sometimes you have to use the pull star to kind of sling Mario to where you want him to go. Oh, is there another long jump opportunity? Ready? Watch this. Whoa! Oh, maybe not. Wasn't as exciting. Oh, whoa. <laughs> um, this is where the controls get a kind of funky though because, you know, going on the ball like this, you kind of get um, a weird sense of which direction is down. Um, and I think that's a lot of, um, uh, a lot of that is based on our perception, you know, up and down and left and right doesn't really mean too much in space. Well, I should say up and down doesn't mean too much in space because, um, if you think about it, the direction up is really just means, you know, away from earth and direction down means towards earth. But when you're in space... You know, going up, it's always a relative point that you, you you use for up and down. So, like, right now, Mario's on this rocket ship. Going up, obviously, would be a jump. Going down would be going, you know, falling. So, I, I just thought that was uh, something that most people don't realize, is that our up and our down is perspective. Anyway, and now here we have pool stars inside planets. Basically, all they do is pull you towards the planet. Um, it's it works the same way. You just you can't obviously go through the planet, so you have to stop outside. 
And this, I just kind of like to point to the farthest one and sling myself across and sling myself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Sorry. I just love these. I don't know what it is, but it's just so fun to just fling yourself around with those things. Oh, well. So see now, if I say up and down from here, up could be, you know, towards the rocket. In which case, when I was on the rocket, down would be towards the rocket, whereas, you know, down here would be down towards wherever I'm at now. I, I think you guys got it. I don't, I'm pretty sure you're not stupid or anything. I don't know why I keep explaining it, but... Yeah, whatever. Okay, so here, all you have to do is break everything that doesn't look like a Goomba. And if you want to talk to them, they'll be like, Oh, where's my glasses? And, oh, where's the captain at? Uh, please help my friends. We have a power star somewhere. And once you free them all, do 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 happens. See, we're the confounded power star. Um, you can break them all if you want. No big deal. Alright, there's another thing. Weird gravity moment. <laughs> and then if you talk to him... Oh, see, there's that whole up and down thing again. Like, ah, oh, where are we at? And he says, yeah, I have a power star, but you know, here's a shortcut up here. Which is really the only way to go, I believe. So I don't know why he calls it a shortcut. Yeah, whatever. Alright, this part is cool. I love this. This was awesome. So as you, you know, move closer to, to the platforms, they, they, they form. And if you go away, they kind of split apart. So some of it's kind of, you know, you just kind of have to trust in the jump, or if you don't have that much trust, kind of peek your way to the edge. Like, see that star there? There's probably going to be a platform. And see that one up there? There's probably going to be a, a, a raised platform or something you have to jump on. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I like it. I wish my house was made like this. <laughs> That'd be cool. Come on in! Oh, sorry about the door. Oh, <laughs> sorry about the wall. Watch out, stairs! That'd be cool if there was, like, a stairway that just appeared as if from nowhere like this. Oh man. Alright, this part's kind of confusing because you know, as you get close here, um, that forms and as you're far away. So I kind of long jump here and then spin. But you kind of have to trust it once you, once you look at it because it's not going to stay like that. Same here. You know the way is down, but unless you go, like, right to the edge, it won't form. So you kind of have to long jump and trust it. If you get a little nervous near the end, there's always the spin. So. But yeah, I just love this. This is, this was genius. Whoever thought about doing this, this was a great idea. Honestly, this is cool. And I like the whole uh, old-fashioned pew 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 sounds. Makes it sound kind of, I don't know, like, like an old... I'm like an Atari game or something. I don't... That is just so cool. Alright. Yeah. I love that. And then there's your star. And again, this is not a grand star, so Mario's not going to fly away with it or whatever. He's just going to raise it to the sky, and we never see it again. Oh, no, we do fly away with it. Oh. Well, then where does it go? Hmm. Interesting. We discovered a new galaxy because we have 12 stars now. Yay! Do you want to save? Yes, we do. We would like to save. Okay. Hopefully, you guys didn't get used to two videos a day because this one is right by the 10 minute mark. So, this is actually going to be it for today. And Mario and I will see you guys later. Yes, yes, we will. Okay. Whoa! 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 Whoa!